as you might notice, this is not a horror game. Um, I'm still a little pissed at Alien Isolation. Uh, <laughs> I will not lie. And I was thinking about like, oh damn, what should I play? Like, I really don't want to go back to Alien Isolation. At least not now. Like, it just pissed me off. I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, so I was like, oh, what can I play then? And then I realized I haven't played a good visual novel in a long time. So I thought, fuck it. Let's play one now. Um, so this one is called, hold on, I need to hide my webcam for two seconds. Cinderella Phenomenon. Um, if I recall correctly, this is or was free on Steam. And it looked interesting because fairy tale characters and a date, a visual novel, all in one game. Literally everything I could ask for. <laughs> I love fairy tales. I love visual novels. This is just the perfect blend of the two. Um, I have no idea of anything about this game. I haven't even looked up a guide, which is weird for me because when I play, um, visual novels, I tend to immediately pull up the guide, uh, because I want to make sure I get all the endings. But I figured we could wait till after my first blind playthrough and see what I just naturally get on my own. Will it be terrible? Probably. I'm not great at these. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to just see, and then afterwards, we can then pull up a guide and do this properly. Watch me accidentally pick the main guy as the first guy we go after, and then it ruins all the other routes for us. <sighs> I did want to play the intro real quick, because I, I think it looks super interesting. Bear with me. Bear with me. I just want you guys to see the intro, too. Because uh, I really like it. I think it's worth the watch. Hopefully this just works. Okay, great. Let me, let me shut up. Also, the company is Daisuke. Get it? Dice, or Daisuki. I'm sorry, I say shit wrong. Daisuki. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, great, fantastic. I'll shut up now. the main guy it was kind of obvious okay cool now we know who the main guy is so i know to avoid him if possible uh because usually how it works in visual novels is there's the main guy and the main guy is the one with all the interesting story shit like overarching story stuff um but okay i'm sorry the redhead though i'm sorry um he had no right to look that good excuse me? Fuck. I might have to go for him first, cause hot damn. Hot damn. Oh. Okay. Oh, I need to. Now that that pa 
panic is over. Um, not gonna lie, the singing was a little rough. A little rough. I, it wasn't terrible. But it was a little, it, it, it was a little rough. Um, but I don't blame them. Like, it, the song itself seems interesting. I just, oof. I shouldn't complain about a game that's free, though, so. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just, that's just my honest opinion. Anyway. Uh, we recommend viewing the tutorial if this is your first time playing a Ren-P visual novel. Would you like to view the tutorial? Sure. I mean, I'm no noob when it comes to visual novels. But also, what if they have some weird mechanics or something? And I am end up being terrible also i love the flower that pops up okay uh yes welcome to the tutorial quick run through of the shortcuts and functions of pseudo phenomenon to advance the attacks click the space bar or enter okay cool that'll be easy you should should you miss a line or two while reading you can always click the back oh okay good thing i'm reading this uh click the back button in the quick menu that is located in the upper right hand corner of the text box there is a limited amount of lines you can roll back to when you use this function. The shortcut for this function is page up. Oh, that one. Got it. For the lines you have already seen, you can click the skip button to toggle the activation of skip mode. Oh, we love, we love a proper skip mode. The keyboard shortcut for this function is tab or holding control. Tab, control. Okay the best experience you may activate auto forward mode it could also be deactivated when you advance the text manually uh the text speed and time for the delay may be adjusted through settings yeah i already messed with those yeah uh save files can be accessed by clicking the glass slip or simply pressing right click oh okay uh, i can customize reading experience uh, blah 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 okay so blah 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 i know okay you can have up to 72 Damn, 72. 72 save files in the save menu. It can be... Excuse me, I'm terrible at this. Loading even while playing the story in case you need to recall the events or reconsider your choices. <laughs> that concludes the tutorial. Okay, cool. Okay, so it was mostly straightforward, but it was still good to see in case I'm like, what the fuck do these buttons mean? All right. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a far, far away, there were two crystals. One was the Crystallum Lucis, protected by the ruler of the fairies. The other was the Crystallum Tenebrarum, which was watched over by the high leader of the witches. The Lucis was sustained by love, happiness, and joy. The Tenebrarum by fear, anger, and hatred. Hot damn. Uh, love the yin and yang already. They look the exact same. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Yep, I see them sketches. That's cute. The fairies and witches lived in harmony with the humans of the kingdom. They regulated the powers of the... All right, music. They regulated the powers of the crystals in order to maintain balance between darkness and light. For there can be no joy without sadness, no courage without anger. The kingdom was at peace for a time. Until one day humans were greedy or something. Watch. Then one day a traveling bard oh a traveling bard decided to write stories. Tales of the magic and wonders of the kingdom. He named these stories fairy tales. I love the stylization of the like text, like the like I assume it's like it's like the language of the world. It's still so cool. Fairy tales, the light always emerged victorious, and true love was a usual reward. The fairy tales spread further than could have. The fairy tales spread further than could have been predicted. Humans of the kingdom began to believe that fairy tales were true, and that the magic of the witches was inherently wicked and cruel. Oh no! Oh, so before, where it's like light and dark, it's not necessarily one was good and one was evil, but because of the way it was portrayed kind of started to assume darkness equals bad, light equals good, when, uh, reality, oh, 
they can be either. The witches became hated and feared. Oh no. That looks like witch hunts. Eventually, they were hunted like animals. Yep, okay. Oof, oof. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay. The witch hunt. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The high leader of the witches, in all of her anger, created the fairy tale curse. <sighs> Think we are wicked? So be it. Just as you have taken our happily ever afters, we shall take yours. The witches used the fairy tale curse to attack humans indiscriminately, ultimately throwing the kingdom into chaos and darkness. You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. The rule of the fairies, the loosest bearer, sought to regain peace. But the witches were blinded by their hatred for humans, who were responsible for the witch genocide. Okay, so it's still humans' fault. It's it's always humans' fault. A terrible war, the Great War, began. Eventually, the Tenebrarum Bearer, the High Leader of the Witches, was finally defeated. The, Tenebra the Tenebrarum was lost, peace was restored, and the light once again triumphed. But darkness can never fully disappear. It waits in the shadows, patient for when its time will inevitably return. Contract. Sign here. Oh, can I can I make my name? It be oh, I can! We shall be num num! Sign. I sign this contract. I don't know what's in this contract. Or if this will be a good thing. But uh consider this sign. Oh, prologue. I thought it was like rollo. I was like, why can I read it? I think it said the princess, but not sure. Oh yeah, that <laughs> I love when like nicknames or modern names don't fit with the, the the trend of names. But it's fine. My name is Num Num Riella Britton, daughter of King Granero Britton the Third. I am the crown princess of the kingdom of An Angel? An Angel? A Angie L. I. What is reading comprehension? I don't know. Wait, is this how I get to the menu? Yes, it is. Okay. No. Um. Angie L. Like Angel, I guess? Angie? I don't know. At least, that was who I used to be. But that was before yesterday. And I became a victim of the Nunes fairy tale curse. Uh, testing, testing. Might have to turn the music down a bit. Okay. I think that should be good. Uh, fairy tale curse, yes. Oh, she's so pretty. Everyone has forgotten my birthright. Now, I am nothing more than a lowly peasant. I feel like I am stuck in a nightmare. But no, this is my reality now. I still have no idea what I must do to break the curse. I close my eyes and remember that day. That started out like any other day. Have you heard? Another person was cursed. <gasps> she even looks prettier in her royal attire. Aww. I am on my way to the dining hall for breakfast when I stop and listen to the sound of hushed, vo hushed voices. There are two maids standing next to each other with candles in hand. These two are slacking off again. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I love how she's not like... She's not immediately like the, no, I am so fragile, sub man, save me please. Granted, we still have to see how this game plays out. Uh, just initial impressions, I love how she doesn't immediately look like the innocent, perfect type of girl. Yeah, she looks like 
delicate and refined, but that's more speaking to her, uh, like, her lineage and her upbringing rather than... Ah, visual novels. All the girls must be blank personalities who are pure, so the player can just force themselves into the player character and, you know, just, like, no personality. <laughs> Bless you. You scurred me. That's terrible. What fairy tale curse was it? They say it was Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Oh, so the the curses have specific names. Interesting. So then, oh, so is it is this called Cinderella phenomenon? Because she's uh, my character is given the Cinderella curse, and then people are assigned fairy tales like based like on their curse. Uh. Pinocchio, the fairy tale with the lying boy whose nose grows longer. That's awful. No, oh, more and more people have been getting cursed lately. You think those wicked witches are up to something again? I thought the fairy tale curses would stop after you know who was defeated. You two are hired to work, not talk. Yeah. We're sorry, your highness. This can only be expected. From of them. Tail curse. Fairytale curse started spreading even before the Great War began. I do not have much interest in its effects. Now, after all, most humans probably deserve to get cursed. Their victims are weak. Oh, she's gonna regret thinking that. Me and GL would be better off without the dead weight. Oof! Oof! She's harsh. Her up to mother, the curse would have been banished from Angie L the instant they fell prey to it. But mother is not here anymore. She will not come back. Ever. Okay, quick, quick side note. I love the giant flower piece at the bottom corner. Um, and the fact that like when her the, the character, player character portrait comes up, it like fills in that space, like she's just like designated to go there. I love that, them, them just kind of like being awkwardly brought up. It's like, oh, here's this cool little detail at the bottom of the screen, but also serves the purpose of being like, here's where that portrait goes. It looks nice. I like this so far. <laughs> we just started, but I'm enjoying this so far. <laughs> uh, I think I read that. Princess, the king and queen are waiting in the dining hall. I am on my way. The king, Ophelia, and Rod are all present in the dining hall. Oh! This is why we need the comma that comes before and. I know I said earlier, but I didn't want to gripe on it because nobody gives a fuck about, well, not many people give a fuck about what I think when it comes to grammar. <laughs> I know I'm an English major, but I don't always have to point things out. But now I have to point this out because this confuses my brain. When, always put a comma before and when making a list. I forget what it's called, but it's a specific comma and it saves lives. <laughs> there's there's like an example of this where it's like... Um, like, because basically how this should read is the cane... Ophelia and Rod but my brain because there's no comma I went the cane Ophelia and Rod like as if this was one name and I got confused because that didn't make sense you put the comma before and when writing the list so you know it's separate and then it makes more sense granted things can be grouped together if they're meant to be grouped together but this is not part of it write your list properly please I am begging as an English major. Please do this. <laughs> it helps make my reading experience easier and more comprehensible. And it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just part of writing. Please, please, thank you. Someone is conspicuously missing. I ignore their absence. Oh, hello. You are quite handsome, sir. The 
Good morning, Dom Dom. Good morning, Your Majesty. Oh, she's kind of pretty. Oh, is this like the new queen, I guess? Like stepmother? Oh, it's a stepmother. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Good morning, Dom. <laughs> nom nom. Oh, yeah. oh, she's just trying. She's just trying. We'll watch the curse hits, and then that's how evil stepmothers come to be. Ophelia Widensov. Every day I wonder why my father, the cane, married a lowly baker. Damn, if she was a baker before, she cleans up super well and looks wonderful for it. She could never be a true queen. She pales in comparison to mother. I take my seat next to the king and look up at the person sitting opposite me. Oh! Already first love interest. Or uh, first potential love interest, I should say. Weird. Okay. Oh, but it's a stepbrother. Oh, no, that's weird. Why? No. Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. Damn it. Listen, listen. I know it's not incest because they're not blood related. Blah, blah, blah. I get it. It's, it's I just personally find it weird. I'm sure it can happen, and it's not the kid's fault that they're step-siblings and then, like, probably happen to have feelings for each other or it just works out that way. At least it's not wrong, I guess. But, well, I guess it depends on context. If you're raised from, like, babies into adulthood, I think that's really weird. Yeah, sure, it's still not bad in any sense, because, again, you're not blood-related. But that's weird through the context of you were raised together as siblings. I assume that's not the situation here, which makes it more forgivable. But I'm just like, why does one of the love interests have to be a step-sibling? Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> Granted, I'm jumping the gun, but... Well, no, I'm not. The, 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 the zoom out. The, the, the fact that it's the first CG art. It's meant to introduce him. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, every visual novel, for some reason, always has the kid, kid character. Whether a legit child, which is mm, not great, or the child-looking boy love type, because... I, to cater to all women we have to cater to women who love the hot boys we have to cater to girls who like the cutesy boy boys um yeah they're really not my type really not my type <laughs> i try to knock those routes right out the bat initially just because that's how far they are not my type <sighs> rod benedict Windensoff, my stepbrother is bored and quiet as usual. Oh, wrong button. He is two years my junior and is the younger of Ophelia's children. He is mute and uses a plush bunny to voice his thoughts. Oh, see, that's a oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's oh, that's so sad. But that's so cute. Oh, fuck. Not in a cute romantic way, just cute. It was apparently given to him by a fairy. He minds his own business and is easy to deal with. But his older sister? My eyes go to the empty seat beside him. She's probably the most infuriating person I've ever had the displeasure of knowing. <laughs> this is not Phoenix Wright. Does this still say? Streamlabs, you have been failing me today. I changed it on Twitch. I swear. I changed this on Twitch. 
Thank you, Sir Frankie. Um, I legit changed the name of the game on Twitch. And I swear I ch it should have updated in Streamlabs. Oh, I'm sorry. You told me this last time too. Oh, fuck. I closed the game. <laughs> well, I didn't close it, but I minimized it. Sorry, I forgot you also told me this last time. Sir Frank the Third. Right. Or Sir Frank the Third. Yeah. Sorry. You did tell me this last time, didn't you? I. My bad. Um. So this is Cinderella Phenomenon. Phenomenon. That's going to be a hard name to say after a while. <laughs> it's a visual novel. <laughs> Sorry for the deception. I didn't try to. The characters are cute. Uh, apparently this is my annoying uh, stepsister. I don't know why she's annoying. She looks adorable and, you know, cute entrance. I'm Elaine. Either um, she's just actually the worst and just, we don't know yet. <laughs> or this is just my character being like, ugh, she's such a commoner. Like, ugh. Um, if you do want, want to watch me play Enix Right, I did stream it last night and the VOD still exists, so you can always watch that if you would like, or wait till I upload everything to YouTube. I have some parts of it, but anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Uh, I'm late. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was reading and forgot the time. I keep pressing the wrong button. Here she is. This works. I just finished playing Phoenix. Oh, cool. Are you in the first game as well or one of the further games? Good morning, dear father, mother. Good morning, Rod. And good morning to you too, Nom Nom. It is a beautiful morning, isn't it? Final episode. I stream it on Thursdays. Oh, cool. That's nice. I normally stream it on, like, every other Monday or on Mondays. Um, but I took off Monday and Tuesday. So I'm doing, basically, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. <laughs> Emma Lane Widdens. Widdens. Widensov. Holy fuck. That's so hard to say. Rod's elder sister and my stepsister. She acts as if we are blood. As if she too were born a princess. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm so excited. I haven't... I haven't really kept up with the game series, to be honest. But seeing the trailer for the newest one, it looks so fucking good. Like, it looks like so much fun. I really want to play it. <laughs> um, and it reminds me a lot, too, of when they did the Phoenix Wright um, Professor Layton crossover, which I never finished, but I got really far in it, I think. It was so good. Um, but, like, the way the art's done and, like, how it looks like they're going to do the trial cases, it looked really similar to that. So I think that's also why I was like... I've played one or two latent games, and they're a lot of fun, too. Um, you should, you, I think you would like the Professor Layton series, or, um, at the very least, um, the Layton Phoenix Wright crossover. Um. Yes. <laughs> they are really good. Oh, I keep pressing Z, because that's what it was for Phoenix Wright yesterday. It's spacebar for this. As if she could be crown princess. Perhaps steal my place. I will never let that happen. Damn. I'm kind of mean. <laughs> now that everyone is here, let us begin. Butlers glide inside with silver trays to carefully serve us breakfast. So, Emmeline, you were reading the fairy tale books that the king brought you? Oh, yes! There are so many, and they are all so wonderful! Thank you so much, Father! I am happy that you like them. I love them! 
It's so strange that the library didn't have any of them to begin with. That is because Mother hated them. She had all the books burned. Ah! He looks shady. Ah! I don't know. He looks kind of average so far, but uh, quite possible, honestly. Um. Oh, so basically, there's a thing called a fairy tale curse, and if you get if you get the curse, you live out the fate of the fairy tale, which might not be great. So, and we get the Cinderella one. So, uh, guess what? Eventually, we get the Cinderella one. So, guess what that means for us? Not great things. <laughs> It's so funny though, the way watching how Emmeline like looks and acts and talks, she absolutely seems like your typical heroine, heroine or main character, or main female character, I should say. So it's so interesting compared to us, who's actually the main character, but like, it's so weird. Like, it feels like the places should be reversed. And I, I like the turning on the head, of the way this visual novel goes so far already. We're like, not super far into this game, but I'm already just like, damn, that's cool. Look at that little detail. <laughs> Sorry, I need to shut up. But why? There are such charming stories. Fairy tales mislead humans into believing they can have things they do not deserve. Fame, riches, love, happily ever afters. Be my new Thursday and follow. Yeah. And when their wishes do not come to fruition exactly as they want them to, humans blame the witches for granting them in the first place. What are you implying about the witches, Nom Nom? The atmosphere shifts, the air in the room growing heavy. The music in the background changed too, which is odd because I don't remember telling the band to change this too. I continue to eat. Perhaps witches are not responsible for the evil in this world. Perhaps humans are the cause of their own downfall. Damn, she is like right out of the bat. Bam, I woke up and chose violence. Have you any idea what you are talking about, child? Witches have caused nothing but pain and suffering in this kingdom. Even now, they still spread the fairy tale curse to our innocent subjects. The truth is, I know very little about the time the had free reign over Angie L. Angie L. I was very young then, and mother forbade me to leave the palace, sometimes even my room. I know nothing of the people's supposed pain and suffering. Mother kept me away from everyone. So, I cannot bring myself to care. How do you know the cursed are innocent? Our people have been toiling day and night to rebuild Angie Angiel after the Great War. Our people are the kingdom's foundation, and I am endlessly grateful for their determination and resolve. Every day I wonder what your mother taught you about. Get mother out of this. You brought her up first, though, ma'am. Uh, what are you talking Dear, please. Oh, sorry, that's not her voice. Dear, please. Um, darling, your father didn't mean to. I am not one of your children, Ophelia. I do not need your sympathy. Oh! I... Nom nom, you will show your mother respect. Oh, oh, you do not force someone to call a stepmother their mother. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Uh, mm, no. That's how you make people hate them even more. She is not my mother. I set down my fork and knife and stand up. I am done. Excuse me. My father and I have never got on, but our relationship has significantly worsened since he married the baker. My father, King, has been 17 years and I have never felt any love from him. He treats Emma Lane and Broad only entered our life one year ago like his own children. Oh, especially since it's only been a year since the marriage. Damn. Oh. Better than he has ever treated me. This has been my life ever since mother passed away four years ago. 
Yeah, she does. Oh, and the mother passed four years ago. Yeah. The mother was the only one that was there for me when no one else was. If it wasn't for the accident during the Great War, she would still be. Why the sour face so... Oh, this is a different person. Why the sour face so early in the morning, princess? Second love interest! Hello! I did name the character. That's why Nom Nom totally doesn't fit in the world of this game. I think her original name, I already forget. I think it was like Lucielle or something. Lucette. Okay, that's what her original name was before I changed it. Because you can change it in these. Her old name sucked. <laughs> Thank you. Let me guess. It's the king, the queen, or Princess Emmeline? Or is it all of them? I ignore his question. Fritz, what are you doing here so early? I'm running some errands for my father. Fitzgerald Aiden Leverton, son of the highest knight of the Order of Caldri Caldera. Cal Caldera? Caldera. His father, Sir Al Alcaster, I am. I'm tripping on all these names. Alcaster has served the royal family for many years. So Alcaster is one of the king's most trusted advisors. Never trust a guy just throwing shit at the wall to get on your good side. <laughs> oh yeah, he seems sh he seems shady as fuck. He's gonna be that sneaky bad boy uh, type. Three years ago, Fritz was assigned the honor of becoming my personal knight. His presence is the only company I can tolerate nowadays. White hair looks cool, um, especially in the anime world. I sometimes it's a little harder in the like real life, but it's definitely possible for people. Here. You should wait in the throne room then. Oh damn, he looks older, like a little older in the normal portrait. Um. Thank you. Princess? Yes? You know, I haven't seen you smile once since I met you. I don't have many reasons to smile. Yeah. I tend to make... I'll either try to make him look like me, or if there's blue hair, I almost always go with blue hair for some reason. <laughs> I like blue hair or red. Red is also a really good color. Why is that of any importance? Uh, <laughs> cause it's fucking weird. Anime red is good, yes. A lot of my early crushes were boys with red hair. And there's a boy with red hair in this game, so I'm like. Anyway. Still, I do hope to see you smile one day, princess. You're weird. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's what she's thinking. Well, I won't take up more of your time. I'll see you at ten. Ten? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten what? You're going to town today, remember? I deflate as the, as the realization dawns upon me. It has been two days since the king issued the order. Oh, flashback. Sepia or something colors. Keep walking, bro. <laughs> nom nom, I would like you to accompany Emma Lane on one of her town outings. Why the fuck? Surely you could send maids with her instead. I would not have requested you to accompany her if I was going to send her with her maids. I want you to make an effort to get along with your sister. Stepsister? She is your sister. And you would treat her and Rod as if they were of your blood. It's been a year, dude. Okay, I know it's early times, but like, listen. Therapy and giving people time to get to know each other and be with each other is a lot better than forcing. Nope, that's your sister now. Nope, that's your brother now. Nope, that's your mother now. Do you know the one that died? 
Mock her. She's dead now. This is your mother now. Just accept it. You'll be fine. Uh, ba ba ba. Fuck off. Two days from now, you are going to accompany Emmeline outside. It has been four years since you last left the palace. Ever since then, you have locked yourself away. You barely leave your room. NGL was in the grip of war back then, but now the kingdom is safe and back to its former glory. They definitely need therapy. They always need therapy. I want you to see how beautiful Angiel really is. Nom nom, a princess must know her kingdom. Go with Emmeline, and she will show you the town that you only ever see through the windows. Let's go by myself? Do I have to go with her? Is that an order? It needs to be. Are we clear? Crystal. Nom nom. Understood. Man, even just the the, the, the super passive aggressive like dot dot dot. She's just like, I'm a slap a bitch. <laughs> the last time I left the palace was four years ago. The king took me with him to check on the people after the great war had ended. I shake my head, removing myself from the memory. I am safe here. Princess, are you all right? It won't be that bad. The townsfolk are good people. How can you be so sure? Times have changed. People change. Reverse perspective of Sophia the First. <laughs> I think, yeah, I see it. That is precisely the problem. Mother never changed. Mother loved me until the end. Oh, mom was constant, and then she wasn't. Sometimes change is for the better, princess. I think you'll see that today. If you'll excuse me, I shall see you later. What the f- Is that a doll? Okay, that has to be a doll. I thought that was like a legit person. I was like, uh, unless it's a fairy. Laura, you think witches are capable of bringing back the dead? I assume this is a doll. I wish you could talk to me, and the others. My dolls are my only friends. They are the only ones I can trust. Oh, that is so sad. Two Disney princesses. Oh yeah, there's definitely original Cinderella. Um, vaguely looks like Belle's dress. Fake, not quite, really. I see, like, what could be Tiana's dress. Um, but this... I think this is before Princess and the Frog, though. Ink, it was 2017, 2016. Um... Could be Rapunzel with the purple. White Ariana. Oh, you're right. I see that. Um, actually, the hair kind of makes me think more of Aurora for that one. That's neat. Unlike humans, they will never betray me. She definitely needs therapy. They will never hurt me. They will always be there for me. The moment I saw Delora, I knew she was special. It was different, so elegant and realistic. It was almost as if she was a breathing. She was a gift from the king on my 17th birthday. I only started receiving dolls from him when mother passed away. Mother does not believe in birthday celebrations. What the fuck was your mother like? Are you okay? What? Do, what do you mean does not believe? Okay. But every year, at midnight, a letter would appear under my door. It would contain instructions leading me through the palace on an adventure to gifts, cakes, and sweets. Child's dream. I've been fascinated by the dolls, which had always held a little greeting card. A card with the words, I love you on it, signed by M. 
card would tell me to keep those celebrations a special secret. But I didn't need to be told that. Mother always found a way to show me she still cared. Okay. Um, because I always like to believe there is some sort of twist or a lie. M is not going to stand for mother. What if it's someone else? Because why would she say, I don't believe in birthday celebrations, but then do a midnight fun surprise thing? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. In her own way. Secret celebrations had stopped as soon as she had disappeared. Okay, I could see that being a correlation. Is there a Mitch? Not that I know of. I don't know all the guys' names yet, though. I know there's five guys in total, though, and we've met two of them so far. Yes? Excuse me, Your Highness. The king has requested your presence. This better not be another lecture. Tell him that I'm on my way. I will see you later, Dolora. not a love interest they would have done an intro <laughs> unless he's a secret love interest they sometimes sneak those in there but i doubt it <sighs> good morning your highness sir mythros <gasps> there's the letter m could it be mythros we don't know m yeah c c okay glad i'm not the only one <laughs> Sir Mythros, the royal advisor. Father trusts him a great deal, just like he does Sir Alcaster. Every day you look more and more like your mother. He's the creepy dog. <laughs> Quite possibly. I sometimes find Sir Mythros talking to mother's portrait when he thinks no one is looking. Secret love affair? Friends? Yeah. I must have admired her a lot, but I cannot bring myself to think highly of him. There is something about him that puts me on edge. Are you on your way to see the king? I shall not keep you then. Until our next meeting, dear princess. Fucking weird! Your majesty? Num num, are you ready? Enjoy this num num. I've heard the toy shop has lovely dolls. Maybe, <laughs> maybe bring a whistle. Yeah, good idea. This will be good for you. You will get to know your sister better, and you will be able to interact with and learn about the people of Angiel, about our subjects. You will not learn anything I do not already know. Um, sorry. I know I'm supposed to be you, but, um, Probably wrong. I'm gonna say that now. Why do you always believe that the people around you are incapable of good? Because I have seen how quickly people will betray and manipulate each other to get what they want. Mother warned me about human nature. Do not see clearly, Nom Nom. You would only open your eyes. You would be able to see how good people really are. I believe I am already quite capable of seeing the true nature of after all, I have seen that there is no good in you. Oh. She truly woke up and chose violence. Damn. Oh. He's been shot. Man down. Man down. Nom nom. I... Where were you when I needed you four years ago? Where have you been ever since? Back then, I'd been overflowing with grief and pain. <laughs> it is not. Uh, uh, grief and pain. I just lost mother, my entire world. I'd hoped that maybe then you would have shown me love and compassion. 
even just a hug to let me know someone was there. It had been a childish hope. I had been left alone. I did not see him for months. I barely even heard his voice. Do not rely on anyone but yourself. Do not trust anyone but yourself. This is what you have taught me. Majesty. Granted, he's probably been grieving too in his own way. And that's why... Therapy! I know that there is nothing I can do to, to atone for what I did. I know that I've hurt you. I know that there is nothing I can do to atone for what I did. But please, Ophelia and her children are not a part of that. They do not deserve to be hated. And you still matter more to him than I ever did. Nom nom. Enough. I have already said I will go. Everyone is waiting outside. I shudder at the thought of leaving the palace after so many years. Nom nom. It will be okay. I know a person. Oh yeah? How can you be so sure? Thank you. Wow, instead of answering her question, he's just like, hey, thanks for agreeing to accompany Emmeline, even though you really didn't have her choice because I made it an order. I will not disobey an order from the king. Excuse me. Hey, the exact same dolls and toys are on the shelf! As if they didn't feel like drawing more dolls! <laughs> ha ha! Awkward is awkward. Also, this girl looks fucking cute. Well, howdy! How can I help? Me? Fiorisa! Emma Lane! I mean, Princess Emma Lane! How good to see ya! Yeah, blue hair! It's like a steel blue, and I love it. I trail Emmeline, ignoring her as she embraces her friend. I glance around the small shop. The dolls displayed are nowhere near the quality of the ones in my room, even though they look identical. Oh, that's a cute little shawl. I cannot understand why Emmeline insisted she buys gifts for her friends here. I cannot believe I am outside the palace. There's no need to be so tense, princess. I would never let anything happen to you. Thanks, buddy. Your only job is to relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> yes, join the weebs. We have waifus and husbandos and all the non-binaries non in between. Who asks the impossible of me? Oh damn, well then. <laughs> There's no need to be formal, Fiorisa. I'm still the same as I was. Oh yes, Rod's come along as well. He looked so small earlier, and now they made him look so mature. My brain is not... Computing. Also, didn't they say he has to talk through the rabbit? Is are, are we supposed to believe the rabbit's talking right now and not him? I'm, I'm confusion. I'm confusion. Too many waifus. I could never pick. Same. That's why I have my bi panics. <laughs> um. It's been a while, Victorisa. It's good to see you again, too, Rod. And I must introduce you to Her Highness, the Crown Princess Nom Nom. Oh. That boy is demonized. Yeah, they're really pretty, but also kind of unsettling. <laughs> the look on Fiorisa's face as she takes a step back from me is all too familiar. Fear. My apologies for being so rude, your highness. Good morning. Um. What? Uh. I'm the 
is a Sir Fitzgerald, Sir Alcaster's son. It is a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Oh, you're Sir Fitzgerald? You really are handsome as Emmeline described in her letters. I am sorry. <laughs> you just outed her crush. <laughs> so funny. Please don't mind her, Sir Fitzgerald. I am too annoyed for this. I'm sorry, Emmeline. Right. Uh, okay then. <laughs> so, um, what brings you all the way here? Oh, I'm here to get some toys. Gifts for some new friends. Toys from here? Are you sure? Of course I am. I cross my arms. I would prefer we finish this errand as quickly as possible. Ugh. <laughs> To cover her shame. Y yes, of course. I'm sorry, your highness. Uh, even Rod's just like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> Princess. We breathe in here. I just want to go back to the palace. <gasps> Third love. <gasps> share we can share fuck oh gosh i have to come up with a voice for her are you okay i really need to hydrate i'm so damn thirsty thank you for the host i'm so thirsty i'm so thirsty okay You know, I'm. <sighs> yeah, I can see it. It's like it. It's a Grell mixed with Sebastian. Good morning. Ugh, even I panic. <laughs> Ugh, everyone panics. Up until this point, I had always considered Mother to be the fairest beauty in the land. The lady that walks in proves me wrong. <sighs> My face is hot. Ho ho please say we can date her. Please, please say we can date her. <laughs> yep. Please tell me she's an option. Please tell me she's a fucking option. If not. They did the intro like she's an option. They better not lie to me. <sighs> Her beauty is mesmerizing and clearly without peer. This is a dating sim. Everyone in the shop is openly staring. Oh, you're early today, ma'am. Do this. <laughs> yes. This is my first round. <laughs> 
I have some important errands to run. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh, uh. I have some important errands to run. Are the items ready now? Oh, of course. Let me go and fetch them for you. I'll just be one moment, Emily. <gasps> oh, fuck, she's looking. Oh, God, everyone, okay, oh, everyone, don't panic, don't panic, she's making eye contact, it's okay, we'll be okay, just hold tight, hold tight, oh, oh, <sighs> why is she smiling at me, we don't deserve, we don't deserve the grace of her smile, just keep her name beautiful, <laughs> yes, nobody panic, oh, I'm panicking, Here you are, ma'am! Thank you. No, don't go! No! <laughs> she have a faint? I don't know. If she did, that would just make her hotter. <laughs> that lady was beautiful. Right? Any girl standing next to her becomes hopelessly ugly by comparison. Who is she? She's new around town. Some say that she's a fairy. Thank you for the hydrate. I am so damn thirsty for multiple reasons. Am I ashamed? Nope. Fairies had saved Angiel from the witches four years ago. Everyone considered them our saviors. Yet the fairies are still unable to stop the fairy tale curse from spreading. No shame! <laughs> Here you go! Thank you so much! Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That was the wrong. Thank you so much! Thank you, Viorisa. I hope to drop by again soon. The more I say Viorisa, the more I think I'm saying a Pokemon name. <laughs> Go, Viorisa! <laughs> Facts. Facts. Good. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, I hope to see you again soon as well, Rod. Likewise, like, likewise. He looks so confident for someone who's mute. I am confusion by his character. Leaving the palace was a bad idea. While I am out, I am the center of attention. Some townsfolk point and stare at me. Most, however, make a point of avoiding me. Excuse me. Some townsfolk point and stare. Oh uh, wait, I read this. Like I'm a, pl I'm the plague. It's weird to read like like the plague line after COVID because uh turns out people didn't really avoid each other like the plague as we have seen during COVID times. <laughs> Not everyone at least. Um there are some spiteful stares, but thankfully none are nearly as intense as they were four years ago. I'm sure the townsfolk are only surprised to see you again after so many years. Same, I did too. We know how some people were. Right. Fritz and Rod lag behind us, which leaves only Emma Lane walking beside me. Not decide which is worse. Staring or her company. Oh, Nom Nom, look! A street performance! It's been so long since I last watched one. Street performance <gasps> it's the main love interest i assume it's a black haired boy almost all the games the main love interest is a black haired boy and sometimes with red eyes so found him <clears throat> good day everyone my name is Waltz, and I'm here to spread some happiness and magic. Half gloves are so weird. If they're not tight enough, I imagine that'd be so uncomfortable and just annoying. <gasps> Rel 
rose petals. The boy named Walt snaps his fingers and colorful flower petals start to rain down from the sky. Isn't that pretty, Nom Nom? He looks so young. What the hell? Why does he look so young? I thought, okay. Weird. I just want pretty beautiful lady back. Can I have beautiful lady back? <laughs> and are those the princesses over there? It is an honor to have you in an attendance. Please accept this humble gift. He snaps his fingers and white lilies appear in his hand. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's smitten already. Oh, she won't take it. <laughs> Screw this guy. <laughs> yeah, probably. Boy looks at me as if expecting some kind of reaction. He gets nothing from me. He sighs and gives me a wry smile. I hope to see you again during my next show. I'll we'll definitely try. Don't make that a we and make it a you, because I'm not going with you again. Uh, so says Num Num. He gracefully bows before moving back into his area of performance. More magic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading this wrong. Before moving back into his area to perform more magic tricks for a gathering crowd. There are performers like this all around, Angiel. I love them. Maybe someday we'll get to see some musicians too. Those are my favorite. I do not intend to leave the palace again. Ugh! But you don't like it out here? God and I grew up here. I love Angiel, and this is my favorite part of the kingdom. I wanted to share this with you, Nom Nom. I know you didn't really want to come, but you still tagged along. That means a lot to me, so thank you. <laughs> she really does. <laughs> I did not do this for you. I am only here because the king ordered me to go with you. I just want us to be closer, Nom Nom. I would like to try and be your friend. I do not want or need your friendship. No matter how you act around me, we are not, and will never will be, sisters. Yeah. <laughs> I'd take care to remember that if I were you. Oh, see, I hate being an asshole. This game's forcing me to be an asshole. I just, I get where everyone's coming from, but also the pain, the violence, emotional violence. But I. Oh, oh, okay, Rod, why are you touching me? Don't touch me. <laughs> Rod suddenly grabs my hand, pulling me away from Emma Lane. Stop. He's staring daggers at me. I think this is the first time I've ever seen him angry. No touchy, buddy boy. No touchy. No touchy. God, don't. Wait, isn't she supposed to be the older sister? Why is he taller than her? Or, sorry. Yeah, no. Yeah, why is he taller than her? How old are... I don't know how old anyone is. I'm so... This is the one confusion I have. How old are these people? He looked so tiny in his introduction art. But now he looks more mature here. But he's the younger brother of her. But like, how old are they in there? I don't know. But like, she started getting, the main character is 17 or was, either she is 17 or was 17 when she first got the dolls, which was four years ago. So 18, 19. So that would put her at 21 if, but I don't know. So confused. Do they have? Hold on. Can I Google that real quick? Can I Google how old everyone is? Okay, so Walt's magic boy is 22 years old. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a time skip in this game or if they just all look that young. But uh, okay. 
crit is 21. 23, Evermore. Wait, is there a sequel game? Someone else we haven't met yet. It's probably 20s, right? 24. This guy is 19. Rod is... Oh, he's 15. This is supposed to be a 15-year-old. Okay, Rod. Um, cool. I'm not into children, thank you. Emma Lane is 19. So, am I 19 as well? How old is me? I am 17. Oh, so I am 17. Oh, I am also a child. <laughs> I was joking about 20s. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he don't look like no 15-year-old I've ever met. <laughs> it's the weird thing about animes, too. is like, ages aren't quite depicted accurately. Um, But yeah, he's supposed to be younger than her. And yet he looks older than her. Or like the same age. Why are we making children attractive? Why are we making children attractive? <laughs> I swear. Oh, sorry. Okay, I need to click on the game again. We we sidetracked. It's a Japan. Yeah, yeah. But don't let me go. Both of you ought to stay away from me. Something on my screen. Oh, there is something on my screen. Oh, that's not. I was like, what is that mark? Something on my screen. I feel the heavy atmosphere as I turn to look at the people staring at us. Their expressions mirror the looks of disdain I saw years ago. Her disgust. Hatred. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me, that was gross. I begin to walk away. Princess, wait! Don't follow me. Princess! I adjust my cloak, make sure my face is hidden from view. I should have left the palace. As I walk around, I watch the people bumbling down the streets. So carefree. They work so hard for so little reward. They could work their entire lives and never have a fraction of what I have. Yet, they are happy. And I, I'm a miserable fuck. <laughs> Anne has lost her job at the palace. It's true. Crown Princess Namna made sure the poor girl was fired. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that guard needs to do a better job. <laughs> it's true. Crown Prince Namna made sure the... Uh, yeah, wow. So I, I, I fired people. I stop in my tracks at the mention of my name. Dan. Nice. Is that the name of that one maid that tore Dolores' dress? Oh, you know what? Sort of a fireable offense. Sort of. Sort of. Deserves a warning. If so, my decision to fire her was justified. A palace maid cannot be clumsy. Why should I tolerate poor performance? What did I do that was so wrong? Oh, that Annis, hardworking and big hearted, very good with medicine. Shame she lost her job so quickly. You know how hard the crowd crowned princess is to please. My friend at the palace says she doesn't even smile, only goes around with that cold look on her face. That's probably why they call her the Ice Princess. Oh, that's right, that's what this prologue was called Ice Princess. Ice Princess? So all those times I heard the servants saying that. I always suspected they were talking about me. She's the complete opposite of our Princess Emma Lane. <laughs> uh, she's dangerously close to being named Karen. <laughs> that child's an angel. We all know she should be crowned princess. Boyens begins to simmer inside me not stand here anymore, so I walk away. Ever since Emmeline entered my life, I have always been compared to her. 
and now I have to become second best. I am Nom Nom Yella Britton, daughter of King Gennaro Britton III and the crown princess of the kingdom of Angiel. I am of royal blood. She is, she is nothing. Oh good, he's here to do this job, finally. Yeah, another third, would you look at that. There you are. Princess, you must come back with me. It is getting too late for you to remain outside. Princess, are you all right? Are you hurt? I brush him off and turn away. No need to fuss. Let us return to the palace. Come on, cat. You wanna come say hi? Come say hi. Admit, though. Do not jump on the desk. My lap is right here. Just commit. Come on. Got it. Leaving the palace was... There you go. Leaving the palace was physically and mentally draining. Ugh, I gotta adjust my sitting. My bed was welcoming to my unusually heavy body. I turned my head and meet Dolores' glassy gaze from where she sits on my shelf. I left the palace today, Delora. <laughs> oh, they're too big. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Lie down, please. Thank you. It was the same as all those years ago. Everyone looked at me like I was. Karen. What have I ever done to deserve those looks? How can I be so hated? princess wish mother was here I look at the smiling faces of my dolls at least I still have all of you yawn and stretch my arms good night Delora The dog comes to life, right? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. The doll's gonna be important somehow. I wonder if it's gonna be like the Cinderella tale and like maybe like a godmother like figure comes through the doll or her mother's spirit. Girl, you are scratching my arm. Your claws are too long for that. Could be her mom. Uh, how I wonder what you are singing. Ooh. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Is this how the curse is placed? Oh, is this how the curse is placed? Twinkle little star I blink my eyes open Only to see Dolora sitting right in front of me on my bed Light spills across her delicate features it's the doll. It's Eva. How I wonder what you are. Wasn't she on the shelf with all of the other dolls when I went to bed? Blink your eyes open. Oh, um, I think what they kind of mean, it's like, you know, where like you're like asleep and it's like you like blink them open, kind of. It sounds weird, but I get what they mean. Like you're like you kind of like, eh, what? And then like open them up. It's weird, but I kind of get the visual they're going for. You're welcome. Um. Blah blah blah. The aura. It's almost time. I pinch my cheeks to make sure I am not dreaming. It hurts. Ten minutes before the clock strikes twelve. <gasps> Is it a witch? Is it a witch? Doll turned into witch. Are you ready, princess? Doll just turned into a human. How? 
are you? You know who I am. I've been watching you since the day your father gave me to you. What is happening? I don't think I've ever... Oh, sorry. I don't think I've ever been so confused in my life. All the answers will come with time. But right now, I am here to give you something. Sess? We've been cursed! Is this... Cinderella's very own glass slipper? Um, I don't think M... Well, I mean, M could be her father. But I think Delora was... Is separate... Is it, Delora is a separate gift from this mysterious M who led her to, like, a secret party room with all the gifts and stuff. Um, because the gifts and stuff were from the mysterious M, supposedly mother, um, but I think the dolls are specifically from the dad, or at least Delora is. It is beautiful, too beautiful, and a realization begins to dawn upon me. You're a witch! Smart girl. I knew you'd figure that out eventually. Now it's time to say goodbye to your precious crown. What? And the clock strikes midnight. Sweet dreams, Cinderella. And we start the game proper. But we've only met three of the romantic interests one two three we're missing two more i think let's see no i don't think the advisor was one of them i think there's two more characters we haven't met yet hey wake up girl huh there i am ow my head you have some nerve sleeping in front of my shop Leave before a customer sees you. It's in my room. How am I here? Did you not hear what I said, you filthy child? Filthy? You would speak to your crown princess in such a manner? You're the crown princess? Then I'm the queen. You must have been knocked on the head quite hard to have such grand delusions. I am not delusional. I am Nom Nom Riella Britain. Blood daughter of King Gennaro Britain III and the crown princess of Angiel. Right. The king never had a daughter with that witch. Is she referring to mother? Witch? Don't pretend to be stupid, girl. You can only stare at her, puzzled. Our good king only has stepchildren Princess Emmeline and Prince Rod. You are most definitely neither of them. What? Now get gone before you go spouting your crazy gibberish at my customers and scare them away. With a huff, she leaves me to my own rapidly turning thoughts. I quickly realize that I am wearing tattered clothes and I do not even have shoes on. No, no. This cannot be happening. Something shines against my chest and I reach up to grab it. Oh, snap. This is. It all floods back. Laura being a witch. Cinderella's glass slipper. This is not a dream. Sorry. Hate to interrupt, but. Sick. It might not be that loud, but it was like. It was filling my ears unpleasantly. <laughs> Laura gave me the fairy tale curse. My hands began to tremble. I must return to the palace to speak with the king. Let me in. Sorry, girl, but this place is off limits for two uninvited guests. You do not understand. I am Crown Princess Nom Nom Riella Britain. I must speak with my father. As loath as I am to call him that, I have to. Damn. No one will believe me if I am dressed. should be okay. Uh, no one will believe me if I am dressing him by title. 
Yeah, it's like, it's, they, you see it sometimes in animes too, like the background characters or the unimportant characters are just kind of like shadowed over or not given much detail. Uh, it's definitely what's happened here. <laughs> Anyone who's not important, you have no eyes. <laughs> Best leave now, nice and quiet, before we have to force you. But only make way for the cane. The gate swing open and three horses trot out. The soldiers ride two of the horses while the last horse has a different, familiar rider. Father! I immediately move to block the path of his horse. The soldiers move to hold me back. Your Majesty! What is this? Your Majesty, this girl is claiming to be your daughter. Daughter? Both of my stepchildren are in the palace right now. What? Even father is a part of this? <laughs> father, you must help me. A witch has cursed me. Once in your life. Just once, help me. You must believe me. Tell me, where is your family, child? Why are you all alone? He looks at me with pity in his eyes. Okay, now the music's too quiet. I can't fucking read. This is what happens too when like, the music is not, the different soundtracks have different volumes. I wish people would streamline it more. It'd be so much fucking easier. He is looking at me more kindly as kindly as a peasant than he ever did when I was the crown princess and his daughter. Oh damn. I recoil. Must be hungry. Take this. This should feed you and your family for a day or two. Kingdom offers work opportunities to those who need them. Please let your parents know. I do not want your pity, father. Please escort this girl back to her home. Make sure she gets there safely. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's just earlier it was so loud and then now it's quieter again and I'm just like, I can't, I can't win with volume control. I can't win. Or my ears are broken. One of the two. At once, your majesty. I watch as my father and his two guards ride away on their horses, leaving me to stand in their dust. Okay. He left me alone. Again. You can't blame him this time, though. It's the curse's fault. Where is your home, girl? There's no more left for me to go. Father has forgotten me. me. Now look here. Our orders were to leave me alone. Suit yourself. Can't say we didn't try. Don't cause any more scenes, little girl. I watch with bleary eyes as the soldiers return to the palace. How could this be happening? I stare at the small pouch in my hands. I do not know what hurts more. The fact that I have just been unceremoniously paraded away from my home like I am nothing more than a piece of garbage, or the fact that my own father does not recognize me. Oh, look at that girl's hideous dress. How difficult it is to be poor. I clutch the pouch closer to my chest as I run into an empty alley. I huddle in a corner, trying to become as small as possible. She fires them when the timeline returns to normal. <laughs> uh, at the end, she learned nothing. <laughs> I squeeze my, squeeze my eyes shut, hoping that when I next open them, everything will be back to normal. No matter what happens, we must not leave the palace. Why? The world is cruel ever hurt you. They are always so nice to me. That is only because you are the crown princess. Uh, uh, 
It's not a dress. It's a potato sack. Moo moo. <laughs> Gosh. I... Something shady about the mother. Either... Like... I, I don't get great mom vibes. Is what I'm saying. That's only because you're the crown princess. They will only ever think of what they can take from you. I'm trying to protect you, my love. That is why you must never leave the palace. I don't either. I don't trust anything about her. It seems like weird trauma, manipulation, not greatness, alienation from the world. Never leave, mother. I'm the only one who will ever love you so much. Oh, she definitely is isolating her from everyone else. Include your own father. Do you understand? I understand. Yeah, I really, um, this is the second time they're using this art. I really like it. It's really, it's, it's cool. I love it. Chapter one, the Mark, Markin, Markin. Oh, we're back to here. I open my eyes. I am still on the streets. I must have fallen asleep. The nightmare continues. I am cold in my rags. I hold myself for warmth, willing some of the cold away, but fail. My feet are numb and in pain, caked in the dirt that I, had, that I have gathered from walking barefoot around town. Well, there's a frightful sight. Dagger probably thought she could try her luck with the nobility that live around here. Ugh, oh, just look at how ragged she looks. You're still here, bitches? Like, go away. <laughs> Blah! What are you looking at? At two women that lack the basic manners of a noble training? A silence, girl. Do you know who you're talking to? No. And I don't care. Ah! What nerve! Just go. There's no reason to stoop to a commoner's level. I will remember you. Once I break this curse, I will make you forget your words. I become acutely aware of the fact that I have not eaten anything for almost a day. I don't know. Uh, Keely aware of the fact that I have not eaten anything for almost a day. I have been sitting here, thinking on the new mess that is my life. Oh, even her portrait gets dark. Oh, that's an interesting choice. But moping around will not break my curse. Crying will not help either. Oh, wait. I know. I now know what you're saying now. Yeah, I wonder if the pickpockets are around. I should find that witch first. But how? I have no idea where she is. Laura, I swear I'll make you regret doing this to me. I find you. I find food first. Weren't you? Okay, I was going to say, you were given a pouch of food. Is this all the king thinks I am worth? Is there half glove? Yep. Leave, girl. A dirty peasant like you has no place in this restaurant. Why? I can pay. Find another place. You're scr scaring away my customers. How can she pay? What was she talking? Girl has no money. Unless that's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Because the king... Okay, it's not a pouch of food he gave her. It was a pouch of money he gave her. That makes more sense. It would be weird if the king just had food in his pocket. Okay. Am I not a customer? Shoo! There is nothing for you here. Swatted me away like a fly. The nerve. Sensing that this will get me nowhere, I ball, I ball my hands into fists and walk away. <laughs> they just got really good at knowing, despite not seeing. Or it's like Toph from uh, Avatar. They feel the vibrations. Uh. I get the same treatment at the next three restaurants. I try. I am treated as something less than dirt. Like my money has no real value. Who is dirt? Yeah. 
crown, princess. You have no right to turn me away like this. Eat stale bread, anything to keep the hunger at bay. Bread barely helps. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bakery. There are croissants on display that make my mouth water. Slowly, I begin to make my way over there. Ow. I ache with every step. I look and feel even worse than before. If only I had enough coins for a pair of shoes. Food is more important. The rags that I am wearing and the pouch of money are all that I have that I need to prioritize. I will die before I beg. Two croissants. You'll need to pay, girl. There are no free handouts here. I take a coin from my pouch and hand it to her. It should be more than enough. Shop owner stares at the coin before reluctantly taking it. She hands me two croissants and a paper bag. I will not ask where you got those coins. Are you implying that I stole them? How else would a beggar like you get that amount of coin? I'll be off with you, child. I won't have you scared away any other customers. Why does everyone assume she is scaring away customers? Why is everyone saying the exact same thing? Don't scare away my customers. You're scaring away my customers. Stop scaring away my customers. Like... Can they think of something else to say? Let's go to Costco. I don't think they had the idea of samples back in the day. And if they did... I don't know. Where would you find those? Without another word, I turned and started to walk away from the woman. So this is the goodness of the people of Angiel. I take a bite out of one of the croissants, cringing a little at the dryness. Oh no. Is Are we gonna have gross men? We're gonna have gross men. Hey girl. What now? We saw you at, oh, that's a strange top choice. Okay, we saw you at that shop. Wanna share how you got the your coins there? Excuse me. Look at her, brushing us off like she's royalty or something. Let me go. You ain't no better than us. Now, be a good girl and hand over that pouch. The man on my left grabs at my pouch and attempts to yank it away from me. I will not let these brutes take anything from me. I elbow the man in the stomach, then aim a kick at the other man's shin. I have an opening, and I take it. What? <laughs> it's time to run. It's time to go. I pull myself free and begin to run as fast as I can. Hey! I go not familiar with the streets at all. It's highly likely I'm just going to hit a dead end. Oh, shit. Where should I go? Um, We're starting the saves and the choices. Um, uh, Oh, fuck, how big is this choice? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, go, fuck it, go left. I don't know. Beautiful lady, where are you? I cannot let the pain in my feet or my exhaustion stop me. If I stop now, they will definitely catch me. <laughs> Taking my coins might not be the worst thing they do. Ooh, ooh, we implied the bad. Dead end. Nowhere left to run now, girl. Oh. oh, who are you, gentlemen? It's definitely not how you treat a lady. Who is this? Huh? Is this new character or someone we've met before? Who's there? Shadow looms above us. <gasps> Okay, okay. I know who, I know who this is. Ah! Okay. Before I could blink, a person has jumped down in front of me. His body acts as a barrier between the two men and me. 
chances of there being two people with the anime red hair and the striking green eyes in one place. I mean, good job, me, my thirst made me have a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, uh, who are you? Oh, me? Just a passing gentleman concerned about a damsel in distress. He turns to the men, his expression calm, his eyes flashing dangerously. Now, shall I teach you gentlemen a lesson? He's got a sword! What? Come back here, you coward! Two of us can take him! Swords versus fist. So, I think your friend has the right idea. I'm not the type to show mercy. Strangely familiar. Brother? Could be. Could be. I don't know. Like twins, it would have to be. I would say. This is way too much trouble for a little gold. Damn. He... It's the same phase. It's the same phase. <laughs> I think I slightly prefer a lady. But. He's pretty as fuck. Alright. Mm, my bi panic radar is. Ah! Ronnie Moots. Super high. Super high, super high by panic. I. Are you all right, my lady? Yep. Weird child. Hello. <gasps> Could be a woman cross dressing as a man. <gasps> all the possibilities. All the possibilities. Either way, yes. You found her! A boy from yesterday? A little slow, aren't you, kid? Don't call me that. Do you know each other? I... What's going on anymore? I feel ill. Head is pounding and my feet feel simultaneously like they are frozen and on fire. No! Remember! We're sharing! Sharing! My stomach rumbles, the hunger coming back with vengeance. My body feels light. Princess! Princess! Wait! Why do they know I'm a princess? Everyone else? Are they cursed too? Because how else would they know I'm the princess? Literally everyone else forgot. Why would they know? They must be cursed too. Or not affected by magic. Both are valid. Okay. Lady, Lady Parfait. Par, parfait. 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 How the fuck do you say that word? Lady Parfait will be able to help her. You're right. We need to move now before anyone else sees us. Parfait. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> what? They were right and wrong choices? I know they asked me about this earlier, but... You made... You made... You have made the right choice. The crystal in the upper right 
supporter indicates that you have made the right choice for a particular love interest. Each color corresponds to a certain love interest. They also appear belatedly after you make a choice, so keep your eyes and ears open. <gasps> so I'll know if I made the right choices for red hair? Because it's red. <gasps> <laughs> you are lady. I don't. I want lady to be option. <laughs> Damn it! It could be our girl. It could be our. Okay. Oh, holding hope. Holding hope. But also. Mm. Okay. We're saving though. Because I want this. We want this person. So, yes, that's happening. Um, Return. Hang in there, princess. It's fading. Our girl. Let me our girl. Dream. <gasps> Fairy tale pages! What is that in your hands, Num Num? I. It was hurt. I just wanted to help it, but. But it died! It's all my fault! It is not your fault, my love. It died because it was weak. But. This is the world, Nom Nom. Only the strong survive. We can get cast aside to die. He does seem very nice. I have good vibes from him so far. But damn, Mom, what the fuck? <laughs> you are not weak. You are strong, my crown princess, and you do not cry. Now wipe your tears. I don't want to see you cry again. Do you understand? Oh, yep. Bad mom. Bad mom. We don't tell people not to cry. That is not... Crying is valid. Crying is valid. Crying is valid. You heard it from me. Crying is valid. Don't matter who you are. Don't matter your gender. Crying is valid. <laughs> yes! Now get rid of that thing and wash your hands. Man, Mom, you're so heartless. Why do I love you? Yeah, there's a difference between being, like, saying, like, just being straightforward or, like, honest, like, to an extent. And then there's just being, like, weakness allowed. Do you not hear me, child? <laughs> yes, Mother. It's like, was Dark. Abuse. <gasps> you cute. Oh, you're awake. Where am I? Ah, uh, well, um, this isn't my room. You don't have a room anymore. My hand flies to my chest, where the little glass slipper hangs from my neck. Still not Are you okay, miss? This girl is the maid that tore Dolores' dress. <gasps> That's the one she fired! <gasps> oh, snap! The stains... Oh, I don't think those are stains. I think they look like roses, like lightly painted uh, roses. It's kind of hard to see, but um, I see it there. It's the, uh, right, one I fired for her clumsiness. Yes? I think that would be her again here, like this. Um, leave me alone. Hello, did you not hear me? Right, of course. Um, here's some salami for you. It'll help with the pain. What the fuck, Delora? Well, I don't want to see your face in here. You cursed me. What the? F Delora? What the fuck, ma'am? The fuck? 
haven't thought at all, at all, have you, Ice Princess? You. Suddenly, there she is. <laughs> Explain yourself! <laughs> Jack, you're having way too much fun with the emotes, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Dolores stands before me with a snide smile, looking happy with herself. She is the cause of everything I have been through. All the pain, heartache, and hunger. It's her fault. I try to stand, thinking to give the witch a piece of my mind, but as soon as my feet touch the floor, pain shoots up my legs. I end up falling back to the bed. Ow. You should be more grateful to the girl you just scared away. Okay. So... We've been taught so far that witches are not evil, but they came evil because um, humans treated them as evil. So like, fine, we'll be the bad guy. So if she's a witch, but now she's like acting like, see, I'm trying to help you. Um, like I'm trying to help you out here. So, like, I guess she's not a bad person, but then why the curses? I thought the curses were meant to just torment people. If the curse is meant to help me, I'm... Okay, it's too soon. Too soon. We're still early in the game, but I'm still just like... What's happening? Uh... Yeah, I definitely blame the mom. Absolutely. Mo mom fucked us up. She's been taking care of you for the past two days. Educate yourself, Curse. <laughs> two days. I passed out for two days. Suddenly vibrating with anger. Remove the curse. Now. <laughs> you think you can just command me to remove the curse in your best princess voice? What do you want? Gold? What I want is worth more than all the gold you could summon in Angel. Princess. Besides, haven't you read your fairy tales? The caster cannot take a curse back. You need to focus on breaking the curse yourself if you want your life back. Mother burned the books before I could read more than one or two of them. I do not think either involved curses, just genies and trading away your voice for legs. Tell those stories! Hello? Hello? She's fucking cute too! What the hell? There's too many attractive people! <laughs> Do I enjoy my hair? Awake, princess. Parfait, should you really be up and about? Don't fuss, I'm feeling much better. Okay, now see, my dirty brain is like Dolores and Parfait are sugar and spice girlfriends, and I'm here for that too. But. <laughs> She is a dessert. She is a dessert. She's probably, a f I wonder if she's a fairy. Oh, fairy and a witch in love with each other as women who are beautiful. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> are you a witch as well? Oh no, my name is Parfait and I'm a fairy. Called it. <laughs> no worries. A witch and a fairy in one room, being friendly with one another, impossible. Oh, look at her face. You weren't expecting that at all, were you, princess? What is going on? I'm sure you have many questions, princess. How do you know I am the princess? Don't be silly. She's a fairy. Of course she knows. I promise we'll do our best to answer your questions. 
They look so cute together. Start. What would you like to know? I hope I get to ask all the questions, not just one. Um, why was I cursed? Seriously? You're really gonna ask that? Um, okay, yeah. Um, why is that a stupid question to ask? It's literally the main fucking question. I wouldn't have asked if I knew the answer. Such a temper on you. Very well. This one's got a simple answer. Because you're a cold-hearted, cruel, wicked princess who deserves to be punished. Aura. <laughs> I don't know. But... I, I want it. I want to be a throuple. <laughs> a curse is the only way to force you to change your horrid ways. Laura, you could have put that more nicely. I'm pretty sure I was already being nice. Change? Why do I need to change? Are you completely unaware of how heartless you are to other people? The coldness you show to your stepfamily and mother? Listen, I think she's valid to feel hurt about step family, not for the reasons of like, oh, they're commoners, but because they're not mom. They're not mom. That should be valid and okay and need to be talked through. Not like, you didn't accept your step family. Like, it's called talk it out and work, earn the trust of being a family. Not shove it in your face and be like, hello, we are family now because I say so. Mom did brainwash her. That's a lot to unpack, but that's a separate issue. Sort of. I mean, same issue, but separate issue. Yeah. The way you treat Princess Emma, Emma Lane. Why would they need to be treated any differently? You need to prove that you have some goodness in you. Princess, some smidge of kindness. Why? People only show you kindness when they want something from you. So if they get what they want, they'll just throw you away. What else would you like? Okay, cool. We can't ask multiple questions. Cool. How do I break it then? The necklace you've got is one of Cinderella's glass slippers. Break the curse, you must get the second slipper. Complete the pair. So someone just has the second slipper or does it pop up randomly or okay <laughs> she needs one <laughs> i know a therapist too <laughs> uh, uh, da -da -da. and how do i do that by doing three good deeds what it's a very easy thing to do at least, for someone who knows how to be good. What is that even? Nowhere to start. Take heart, princess. Goodness is innate in everyone. Are you sure that's the case with this one? Laura, you are not helping. <laughs> I'm a witch, and I think I have more goodness in my big toe than she has in her entire body. <laughs> I love that. Especially Dolora, she's like, I thought she was just like weird evil at first, but now I'm like, hi. Ah. Now you're just being mean. That was not her voice. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. <laughs> For every good deed you accomplish, you will get a piece of the glass slipper. Oh, it's in oh, it's in pieces. It shattered. It broke. Like a certain glass slipper in the Disney Cinderella. When you've gotten all three, you'll complete the pair and the curse will break. She says. Simple. I suggest you start by polishing that attitude of yours. 
What else would you like? Uh, what happens if I don't break the glyphs? Do I just live my life as a peasant? I think you know the answer to that one already, princess. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Why are you two working together? Are you a thane? Are you interested in a poly relationship? Would you please step on me? I mean, <clears throat> to answer that, we'll have to give you a bit of a history lesson. Oh, I've got this. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far, oh, sorry, in a kingdom far, far away, there were two crystals. Dramatics aside, there is one crystal in the kingdom called the Crystallum Lucis. It is powered by happiness and love. The other is Crystallum Tenebrarum, powered by fear and anger. We learned this at the beginning of the story. Um, I know you weren't here for that, Sir Frank. The strongest of the witches is the Tenebrarum Bearer. The strongest of the fairies is the Lucis Bearer. Parfait is the Lucis Bearer. I take in Parfait's frail and sickly appearance. She is the strongest fairy. The Great War greatly damaged me. My powers are a fraction of what they used to be child, I have no successor to my burden. What does a bearer do? Bear, uh, the bearers regulate the energy of the crystals and keep the balance between darkness and light. For centuries, the fairies and witches lived in harmony with the humans for the kingdom of the moon. Until a certain human decided to be a... Oh, sorry, that's Delora. Until a certain human decided to be a pest. Who was he? I knew him as Hans Gabriel Grimm. <gasps> Grimm Brothers! <gasps> Grimm Brothers? Grimm Brothers. Oh, right, because it's the bard. Got it. I knew, um, he wrote the fairy tales. Started the feud between the witches and the fairies in the process. How could a single person have so much power? It was the power of his words. In Grimm's stories, the witches were always evil naturally grew to fear and hate them. They began to hunt them. The witches fight back. We aren't allowed to use our powers to cause harm. That all changed when the Tenebrarum Bearer decided revenge was more important than our promise. The witches took over the kingdom, created the fairy tale curse to spread even more sadness and anger, fill the human heart with negative emotions all to feel the power of the Tenebrarum. Excuse me. The delicate balance of harmony between the crystals was broken. The witches and the Tenebrarum grew far stronger than they were ever meant to be. They had no choice but to fight. Then the Great War happened. The Tenebrarum Bearer was eventually defeated. The Great War was ended with the help of an unexpected ally, but... Many lives were lost. Good witches suffered horribly. Still have to stay hidden in hopes of having any kind of peace. Are you trying to make me believe that there are good witches? I'm sorry. Were you... Grimms is a bit like... Yeah, a little bit. Um, also... Uh, Nom Nom. Do you not recall your conversation during dinner of prologue? Where you were like, maybe the witches weren't all that evil. Like, maybe the witches were right to do this. Why are you now being like, are you trying to tell me you're a good witch? Is it just because of the whole curse? I mean, I mean, I guess. But like, she literally said not that long ago, like, witches aren't evil. And then she turns around and is like, you expect to tell me there are good witches? <laughs> make it make sense. Uh, the Tenebrarum can poison a heart and mind into darkness and cruelty. The witches put themselves at risk in working with the Tenebrarum and maintaining harmony. Some, inevitably, are corrupted. Many good witches were corrupted during the war. Most remain that way. Many do not believe it, but witches can be just as kind as fairies. Yet it wasn't a fairy that cursed me. Fair 
enough. Fair enough. I've done good by cursing you, princess. You'll thank me when you've broken it. Delora was not corrupted by the Tenebrera. She is as good as they come. Hopefully you'll come to see that for yourself. I doubt it, with my life being shit right now. Apart from my own inherent goodness, Parfait and I are working together because we have a common goal. To be lovers. Witches. To restore the... Oh, sorry. To restore the balance between darkness and light. Three good deeds and I get my life back. Easier said than done. You said Cinderella, didn't you? Didn't she just go to a ball and find a prince? What does doing good have to do with that? Going to a ball, finding a prince, it's all so old-fashioned. No fun in that. Cinderella's a girl with a pure heart. She's always willing to help others, even when they are cruel to her. Anyway, I have brought some clothes for you. I'll leave them on the table. We'll be waiting outside. There are some people I'd like you to meet. We get to meet the rest of the boys. Boys, boys, boys. Boys, boys, boys. I look down at my neatly bandaged feet. I have to admit that while sore, they are nowhere near as painful as they had been two days before. Some salve I made for you. Help with the pain. She even came. That was the reason she lost her job at the palace. Granted, she doesn't remember, but also, this is, no, no, this is the whole, like, being kind to people, to be kind, like, this is what you're learning. Come on, just being nice because she's a good person. <laughs> uh, especially the grim version where the steps uh, sisters get their eyes pecked out by crows ravens one of the birds or i think it was just birds i don't think it was even a crow or a raven i think they were just birds that pecked at their eyeballs and then the stepmother wait i don't know if that was cinderella or a different one there was there was there was a stepmother that had to dance in iron a uh, hot iron shoes but i think i think that was snow white actually i'm sorry to mix them up <laughs> But yeah. Oh, she probably doesn't remember me as the princess. But still, she has no reason to do such things for me. I ignore the cell for the time being and stand up, testing my feel feet for pain. The injury is definitely painful. I slowly walk over to the table and change into the clothes that have been left there. The dress is nowhere near as luxurious as the ones that I wear in the palace, but still it is far improved from my rags. <gasps> it's cute! Two daughters. I'm a bit apprehensive of Disney. Well, Disney, of course, does the whole child friendly version of the stories. Um, another interesting about fairy tales, like older fairy tales, they weren't like all these like stepmothers and shit. They were, a lot of the stories, they were actually just the mothers. But they were changed later to stepmothers because people were like, Oh no, who could imagine the horror of an actual mother being evil to their child? It surely would have to be a stepmother. A woman who didn't birth the children who would do that evil shit. It could never be an actual mother. Not always the case. Especially with this her num num's mother potentially being not great. All my life, I've never had to lift a finger. Now, I will not let them see how much they have rattled me. I refuse to break. Just watch me. I will free myself from this curse. My, okay. Um, character design, slight gripe I have. Real quick. I wish... Nom Nom's character had a different hairstyle as the princess. Like, this hairstyle is nice. It's cute. It's simple. But I feel like it would have been better if this hairstyle was saved for when she she got cursed. 
and now has to be kind of like she kind of has to do it herself so she kind of does it kind of simply um because she's probably never had to do her own hair before because otherwise i imagine when the maids do her hair it'd be really nicely done like whether like in a bun or tied up or braided in a certain way i feel like that would have been so cool to see with her with a different hairstyle as the princess versus here because yeah because like i said it's not a bad hairstyle but seeing her here in commoner clothes the hairstyle looks really good with it and the, so then that makes me think back to her as a princess it doesn't make as much sense in that outfit in that context that would have been such a cool difference just okay uh moving on i i'm just i'm just saying i wish I wish that would have been so neat. That would have been such a neat little detail. <sighs> yes, yes, we can see her get like physically and personally getting cuter and nicer. And just yes. Also, I want this dress for myself. It looks so fucking pretty. There's hold on. Can I find the full version real quick? Here's a picture. I want to show it super quick. Because it looks cute as fuck. Look at it! It's so fucking cute! Ah, I love it! I want that for myself. I'd cosplay it. I'd cosplay it. Or honestly, I'd just wear it in my personal daily life. I love it so much. Yeah, they always draw... draw girl torsos as tiny it's, it's a shame a little pudge never hurt anyone or you know just just in general normal um proportions i probably could it looks more complicated i probably do a simplified version because i'm not i don't know how to make clothes i fake it till i make it um <laughs> but yeah cosplay I do have a couple cosplays. Uh, one of them I don't really wear anymore because it's old as fuck. I think I got rid of it actually. I did get rid of it because I don't cosplay anymore. Um, but I still still do have two because there's a different cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this place? Moving on with the game. There are several people in the room chatting amiably with each other. I noticed the girl that had left me to sell by the counter, serving drinks. But as soon as the people in the room notice me, it falls into immediate silence. But look at what we have here! The Ice Princess herself! Huh? They know who I am? I didn't think it was true. Curse for her cold-heartedness. That has to be expected. Remember who I am, and yet you still treat me like this? Well, you aren't really a princess anymore, are you? You're one of us now, girl. <laughs> Everyone, please, you shouldn't be treating a newcomer like this. Princess, let me apologize. They mean no offense. I cannot believe that. Now when the people Parfait is referring to simply smirk and shrug as I meet their gazes. What is this place? Welcome to the Markin Tavern. Is it like March Hair ref like Markin? It's something. It's it's something. A home for those with the fairy tale curse. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So if you have the if ever if you know other people with the fairy tale curse, you know like their truth. Got it. Make it sound like some kind of holiday house. Don't ruin my moment, Delora. Tavern? The market was built three years ago, when the number of Cursed and Angiel continued to rise. The goal is to gather those affected so they might help each other break their curse. Of course, I am also here to provide help as necessary. Wait, so did the girl we fire? actually know who we are 
Only the cursed and those allied with our cause can stay here. The evil and the wicked can never find this place. So the people who are cursed, how come these people remember who I am? The cursed are not affected by the conditions of someone else's curse. Your condition is simple. Everyone has forgotten who you are, the crown princess. But because these people here are cursed, they still remember your title. It goes without saying that fairies and witches are also not affected. Come, princess, let me introduce you to the few boarders we have at the market. Her fate beckons the serving girl over. <coughs> this is Anise. She helps out in the market and does most of the cooking. I'm sure you understand why she's working here now. Because somebody fired her. Okay, have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoyed having you here on the stream and chatting. It was really nice. Thank you. I hope you sleep well. I'll probably head to bed soonish myself. But yeah. <laughs> I believe she deserves an apology. Miss Delora, what are you talking about? Don't you worry your sweet little head over it. I don't remember what this ice princess did to you. Huh? Nothing to apologize for. Clumsiness does not befit a palace maid. I did what was necessary. Well, it's nice to meet you, princess, even though you're telling me that... You did something awful to me. I'm an East Willow. I hope we get along. Uh, <laughs> really? This is how you're going to s going to start doing good? I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Please, you two, no fighting. I hold my tongue as Parfait leads me to two people whose faces are in Incredibly familiar. They are faces I have seen in the palace before. Damn, I don't know who they are, but hello. This is Jurian Valiant and Garland Barrelrod. Look. How do you know? Or how did you know? Both of you were in the Order of Caldera. Ugh. That's right. They were two of Sir Alcaster's best knights. It was a big surprise when they both left a year ago. I only found out recently that it was because they acted against Sir Alcaster's orders. They were stripped of their titles and dishonorably discharged from the service. Oh? What are you two doing here? We help the fairies. They and Anise are exceptions and are allowed in this tavern without the curse. Marion and Garland lend us their strength to help protect the market. Protect? From the witches. They do anything to make sure their curses remain unbroken. What about you? I am an exception. Also, I'm good. I keep forgetting the good part. Remember, not all witches are evil. Your curse is a test. A test. Originally, the wicked were cursed so that they could learn to change. Your curses were meant to teach them a lesson. I'm hoping your curse will teach you a lesson too, Ice Princess. I really am only trying to help you. I'll need you to show me how to change. Get my life back. Well, to do that, you'll have to break your curse by changing. Try and make some friends, princess. They might be able to help you break your curse. Oh, I'd love to hang around and watch the princess try to be friendly. I have work to do, Lita. Fine. Try not to make any more enemies, princess. Instant parfait and Delora leave the room. Temperature drops several degrees. Now that I'm alone, I feel the cold stares return. Disgust. Attempt, as if I am the reason they are cursed and have to take refuge in the market in the first place. Friends, 
people I've ever had are my dolls. I've never needed friends who will break this curse on my own. I was told it was rude to stare. One man suddenly stands up, the anger apparent on his face. His hands clench and unclench into fists as he glares at me pointedly. Jerrianne and Garland place themselves in front of me, shielding me from the fan. Though the rules, what happened in the past stays in the past. No one is allowed to harm anyone else in the market. If you cannot comply, you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> no matter, the Ice Princess will get what's coming to her. He throws one last glare my way before sitting down again. Break the rules and you'll get what's coming to you. That goes for everyone here. Jurian's tone is cold and firm. There is no doubt that she means what she says. Okay, jury. okay. I was confused who was who. It was, they didn't really point it out super clearly to me. Okay, so Jurian's the girl. Got it. So these are the great knights of the Order of Caldera. The market begins to settle down and everyone eventually goes back to their conversations and meals. Okay, I... How is she that awful? I know she's kind of ice cold. I get it. Her personality is rough. But did she, like, murder someone? Was she, like, constantly firing? Like, were all of these people, like, are they all disgruntled employees who are fired? Did she ruin someone's business? I don't know. I haven't seen enough of it to really understand why people are, like, glaring at her. Are there rumors flying rampant? Like, I haven't seen enough. So at first I was kind of wondering what if she was just like that paranoid to leave the palace and she was kind of like sort of assuming or making up the stairs. But no, this is all meant to be very literal. Like she's constantly being glared at and stared at. I understand she probably did some kind of sort of asshole-ish things, but no, I don't think it warrants so far the whole, she's a bitch, we hate her, like, okay, she's not a great person, but, I don't know, I'll just have to see. I walk toward an empty table, realizing that I am being deliberately ignored. I become immersed in my thoughts as I sit down. One thought, however, comes to me. Meet me somehow, and I've only ever left the palace twice in my life. How did this happen? The only people who treated me with any respect were Annis, Jurian, and Garland. Is it because they cannot remember who I am? Maybe the market is not such a good idea. No, most of them remember who you are. Most of them are cursed. I doubt anyone here wants to help me break my curse. They'd probably rather see me suffer under its weight. Three good deeds. How am I supposed to complete three when I do not know if I can even accomplish one? Frank's not here anymore. Oh, he missed out on Pretty Lady. Oh, but that means I don't have to share right now. <laughs> You're just prepared for those emotes. <laughs> Frank, if you're watching this, sorry. <laughs> Hi. You're so pretty. <laughs> Marry me. Join me. I look up and stare in shock at the beautiful lady from the toy shop. Her beautiful, her beauty still manages to take my breath away. You and me both, girl. You and me both. Oh. What is she doing? You. You were in the toy shop. Ah, uh, yes. I was there picking up some items for a friend. I am humbled and still remember. <laughs> the sparkles! The sparkles! <gasps> Let me introduce myself. I am Miss Karma. Your name is Karma? <laughs> a suitable name for someone as beautiful as me. No? You can have whatever name you want, darling. I... Karma, your narcissism is going to scare the princess away. Oh, you 
are that magician boy. Boy? Oh, how appropriate. Boy. Call me that one more time and I'll ruin that pretty face of yours. Well, damn. Oh! Don't you dare hurt my, my karma. <laughs> but hit a lady? How savage. Anyway, I'm Maltz Kretzwall. I have the Neverland curse. Neverland? <gasps> Peter Pan? <gasps> oh, I know exactly what his curse is. Yep, that explains some of the art I saw before, too. Got it. I get it. Yep. Okay. This is not like what I thought it was weird art depiction of a 20 year old. Nope. This is accurate to what's happening to him. <laughs> what about you, princess? What's your fairy tale curse? Does everyone share what their curse is? We talk about it freely in the market. The whole point is helping each other break our curses, after all. It's hard to do that if we keep our fairy tales quiet. He pauses and narrows his eyes slightly. Well, some people keep their fairy tales a secret. He eyes Karma briefly, cocking an eyebrow. <laughs> the smile never leaves Karma's face. <laughs> oh, you do you, lady, you do you. Has anyone managed to break their curse? I've been told that if you have, it's not very reassuring. Well, at least the curses can be broken. I don't particularly say that reassures me either. What ails you, darling? Is it your curse? You can talk to us about it. Tell us what it is. Oh, Karma, I trust you with everything about me. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh goodness, Cinderella. That explains the nature of your curse. Only it's been reversed, hasn't it? Riches to rags. That's one way of putting it. Karma, you're not helping. You really are better off ignoring him. So that can confirms it. Are we gonna pick up on this? Are, are, is Nama gonna pick up on the gender, the, the pronouns here? You really are better off ignoring him, princess. He mostly speaks nonsense. Uh. <laughs> I don't think Karma appreciated that. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, my cat's claw stabbed me directly in the chest. Ow. Oh, fuck, that hurt. That was like getting a needle injected. Fuck. <laughs> Conversation. I need an explanation. No, parfait. No. Princess. Damn it! I needed an answer. Parfait's voice takes me by surprise. I hadn't even noticed her entering the room again. May I speak with you? Oh, this is a cute little space. I'd like you to meet someone, though I'm sure you already know him quite well. Oh, okay, this is not awkward at all. Um, hey, step bro. Sup. Broad? So you really are cursed. I was the one that gave Seppi to Rod so that he still had some way to voice his opinions. Oh, that must be the rabbit. Oh, that's cute. Seppi. 
Short for Sebastian. Cute, isn't it? It's nice to meet you, princess. But wait, I'm confused. But Rob, Rod, Rod doesn't talk at all. And yet they give him voice lines as if he is talking. So the assumption was, oh, somehow Rabbit is making him talk. Or s okay, I'm so fucking confused how this works. Okay, so... Rod is mute. He cannot speak. The Rabbit gives him a means of speaking. That sounded like a psychological issue, and I was on board with it. But, and then I know the, the, the rabbit was from a fairy, so I assume some kind of magical element. So cool. But what am I supposed to be picturing when Rod is talking? Is it the, is it the, is it like, Rod doesn't open his mouth at all, and it's like telepathic speaking? Or is, sorry, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. Okay, so is it telepathic speaking that's happening? Is he speaking himself, but without the rabbit he wouldn't be speaking? Is it a different voice that speaks as if it is him? I am very, I need an explanation. Because the game didn't say it was telepathic speaking. They just said the rabbit gives him a means of speaking. So I assume rabbit comes up and then like noises come out of the rabbit, not Rod. But now we're seeing that Sebi has his own voice line like in like font. It's separate from when Rod speaks. So how does this work? Sebi's voice changes when, he, when it greets me. So, does the rabbit's voice change to that of what Rod's voice will be? Does he ex does he say things Rod wants to say? But then, okay, Debbie's voice change. Okay, so that must be then. The rabbit speaks as if it has Rod's voice and talks as if he is Rod. Or Rod, because Rod cannot speak. But he had the rabbit has its own voice when it's talking as its own. Okay. I assume. It's still a little confusing. But okay. Tony uses this lower when it speaks for Rod. Perhaps that is what Rod's voice actually sounds like. But I need to keep reading. But also, they didn't explain that well in the beginning. So that was weird. Wait, if he remembers me, does that mean... Oh, he has the... Oh, he has the mermaid. Oh, oh that is so... Okay. I appreciate the muteness even more now. Not that it was not valid on its own, but like, oh, that's so, so interesting. Okay. The mermaid's curse. What? That is my curse. Rod has been mute all this time because he is cursed. Does everyone else know? Obviously, they are my family. The king. He knows as well. So am I the only one you never told? I didn't think you would really care either way. Valid. Valid. She wanted nothing to do with the step family, so... Yeah, why would he have to tell her? Why would he have to? Or, yeah. Is not wrong. <laughs> Yet I cannot believe I did not know. I was left out once again. You also locked yourself away. It's a, a two-way street, Boo Boo. It's a two-way street. 
what are you doing? I have been trying to help Rod. Oh, sorry, it's Parfait speaking. I have been trying to help Rod with his curse. That is why he comes to the mar march mar again from time to time. But I don't even want. Anyway, I only came here today to confirm that you were truly cursed. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. It was a big surprise when I woke up one day and you weren't in the palace. A bigger surprise when I found out no one remembered you. Hey, since I was cursed. How are things at the palace? Livelier? Happier? Damn, you don't... Oh, damn, that's awful to hear. Yeah, everyone is so much happier without you there. Things are so much livelier because you aren't around to fuck it up. You don't, you don't ruin the mood for everyone else. Damn. Okay, what the fuck does this, like, despite having a cold personality, what the fuck has she done to make life awful for people? I don't understand. Hot damn. Happier? Never seen my family happier than they are now. I'd say it's a good thing you aren't a princess anymore. I've always thought Rod didn't really care about me regardless, but this is the truth. So I have to be cursed for you to open up about how you truly feel. The only reason I didn't say anything earlier was because Emily didn't want me to. I'm happier too, now that you're gone. I don't have to pretend to like you anymore. I don't think you were pretending to do much of anything, to be honest, but okay. I'm going to return to the palace now. known you. It doesn't mean they're happy without you. See, that's kind of what they're implying though, and I'm... I expect. Why did you bring me? The people in the market, they... I... I shouldn't have left you alone in there. I'm sorry. How they felt about me. What have I ever done to them? Now isn't the right time to explain. When will it ever be the right time? So many things have already happened to you. You should know that. Has the prince already left? Yes, yes he has. Sus, we'll talk about this later. For now, you must focus on breaking your curse. Did I miss something? No. You know, just her heart being shattered at hearing that everyone's happier without her there. Right. Darius, right. I think I am ready to find out how I meet so many people. Well, well, Parfait, I think it's time we get down to business. What should we do with her? What are you talking about now? You, of course. You've got nowhere to go, right? She is right. Think back to the days I spent on the streets and shiver. I'll do anything, as so long as I don't have to go back there. Princess can stay at the market with me and the rest of my boarders. I'd almost forgotten what hope felt like. But you'll have to work in exchange for a room. I celebrated too soon. <laughs> what? Magic has its limitations. 
just like anything else. Money doesn't appear out of thin air, not even for a fairy. The market doesn't attract many customers, since only the first and a few others can enter. I sell my potions here and there, but I have several hungry mouths to feed. Funds are tight. Not fairies lived in luxury. Parfait. Broke. <laughs> oh! Ouch. Even the ice princess can tell. Yet you still take people in. That's always how, been how Parfait operates. She's good natured to a fault. I'm told suffocating to pay my debt will be what kills me. Why don't you just leave? I assume you make enough to take care of yourself. If someone who's in. If someone who's in need of help, I can never. And the princess. And that princess is how goodness works. How goodness works. It's not as if I accept freeloaders. All my boarders help me run the market and do errands. The princess has never worked a day in her life. I doubt she'll be useful. Karma can be useful. Anyone can. Damn, what's so bad about karma? <laughs> She's like a goddess. Excuse me? <laughs> I have yet to see karma be anything but useless. Don't get jealous of mom. Jealous of mom. Princess, you're more than welcome to stay if you're willing to help out. Wait, was that in reference to me? I might be stupid. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I was right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, more than welcome to stay if you're willing to help out. Wait, I'm gonna just reread that. Princess, you're more than welcome to stay if you're willing to help out. It's the least you can do in exchange for a roof over your head and three meals a day. Oh, and shoes. Choice. Toss and turn in bed, unable to fall asleep. The mattress is hard and the sheets are itchy. Nothing at all like the bed I had in the palace. What I would give for my old bed again, for any of the comfort of home. My dolls. Lady Parfait! Lady Parfait! I sit up immediately. What's going on? I leave my room to investigate. Some of the other Mark and Borders Waltz, Jurian, Garland. Oh, and Jurian and. Waltz, Jurian, and Garland are sitting on the set. 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 looking anxious. What's happening? Sorry, did we wake you? No, but the noises Garland was making would have woken the dead. Jerry and I found an injured man while we were doing our rounds. We brought him here. An injured man? Wait, what are you doing? What were you doing outside? It's almost one in the morning. Nothing you need to worry about. Lady Parfait and Anise are tending to the man now. Let's help anyone find on the streets? What if this man is dangerous? You think the witches got to him? It's possible. We've had to we'll have to find out when he wakes up. The next day Parfait reveals that the man only suffered minor head injuries. She st says that she expects him to wake soon. I look at the tray of food in my hands. Anise has asked me to bring it up to the stranger's room while she finishes the rest of her cooking ever have been asked to do this in the palace. Goodness, what's that portrait done to you to deserve that look? I must say that it's odd to see the princess doing something nice for someone. What? I have something to ask the man that was brought in last night. Seeing as you're being good enough to deliver breakfast, I thought I'd just tag along with you. If you're going, just bring this tray up yourself. You are not in any position to delegate your duties to me, Miss Nom Nom. Come on, our guest must be famished. Seeing no way out, I followed Dolores to the spare room the man had put in. Come in. Oh! Nex 
next love interest! Hello! Oh. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna bring up his picture because I know they're not closely related, but like, all I see is Alucard from, um, Code Realize. Granted, Alucard's hotter. Like, it fucking looks like him a bit. <laughs> Does not as, like, cleaned up. <laughs> Anyway, I thought the man would have been old, but to my surprise, he looks young, probably in his early 20s. Why would you just assume old? That's a weird assumption to make. Well, uh, I mean, guys, when someone says a man, you're just like, immediate picture of whatever you would think of. He seems lost in reverie as he stares at a small notebook. Good morning. Good to see you're awake and breathing. The man looks up at her when she speaks. The instant he sees us, his eyes widen. Yeah, I just see Alucard. <laughs> He's cute too, though. We, we, we've got to always have the glasses character. It's always the glasses character. Is he staring at us like that? Am I... Oh, oh, he looked so angry at first. Now I'm like, am I dead? What? I'm in heaven. The music, um, uh, uh, the music is confusing me. Um, okay, this is gonna be weird. I'm in heaven, or maybe to our angels that have fallen to our angels that have fallen out of it oh boy he thinks we're a okay okay interesting i see what can a humble gentleman like myself do for you lovely ladies <laughs> oh <f> <laughs> Ah, oh, you could join me on this bed! <laughs> Not at all what I expected his personality to be like. This is great. <laughs> it's very comfortable, and there's plenty of room for the both of you. I'll follow your lead on this one, princess. Princess? Oh, of course! Such a beautiful lady could only be a princess. Look at the noble way you hold up the tray. <laughs> hold on. Saving here. Um. <laughs> I'm throwing. I want to throw the tray at him. I want to throw. Okay. I'll load again. But we're throwing. I want to see what this is like if I throw the tray. I throw the tray at him. I'm tempted to let you. I see as well. Oh, be still, my beating heart. Uh huh. That was a purple shard. Not what I want. <laughs> uh huh. You. Oh, he's awake. Ah! Another lovely lady has entered my chambers? I don't think my heart can handle the perfection of three of you at once. It's actually <sighs> I think I know how Casanova here got those head injuries. Some lady decided she had enough of his rubbish and wanted to punish him. Delora, patience. You may not even be in the right state of mind right now did take injuries to the head after all. Man finally stops to look just at me. He narrows his eyes and stares so hard I almost want to slap him. What? He 
you're familiar. But no, it's impossible. Aren't you the crown princess? What are you doing here? If he knows that he's... Well, he's definitely not a witch or a fairy. Only mean one thing if he recognizes the ice princess. What is your name, good sir? Um, okay. Real quick, I just want to see what would happen. Oh! Fuck, I meant to low, not save. Damn it. Hold on. Might not be worth it. But I just want to see. Um, we did this. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, I like the f skipping flower. Okay, stay silent. Your wish is my command and my fate, my sweet princess. If you want, you can have him. I'll oh, pass, thanks. Oh, he's away. Okay. Okay, so we just don't get the shard with him. Okay, cool. Well, wanting to throw the tray at him is a lot funnier. I also don't want him to like me, so let's stick with this. Uh, love, blah, 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 blah. And then they ask for his name. Um, you know what? We'll leave, we'll leave it here for next time for who the fuck this weird guy is. I think that's a good place as any. And we'll actually need to save over this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay.